معنا مباشرة من القاهرة راجيا سوراني رئيس المركز الفلسطيني لحقوق الإنسان. Joining us directly from Cairo is Raji Sufrani, the head of the Palestinian Center for Human Rights. Mr. Raji, we are talking about the latest developments about accusation of human organ trafficking by the Zionist entity. How long will the war remain silent and which body is responsible for holding the Zionist entity accountable for such actions? I would like to speak quietly, so please be patient. There isn't a crime that was committed by the Israeli occupation that wasn't monitored and reported by Palestinian human rights organizations. We have always been objective and precise when reporting Israeli violations. We do not politicize our reports. Personally speaking, since the beginning of the 1980s, I've dealt with cases in which parents suspected that their son's organs were stolen. At the time, the deceased people were from Gaza, including a child. Regrettably, the Office of the Israeli Attorney General did not respond to us despite repeated requests for an investigation of such cases and requests to perform another autopsy. The Israeli judiciary system, including the Attorney General's office and the court system, have always been used to systematically cover up Israeli crimes. The truth of the matter is that the person in charge of official Israeli autopsies inside areas occupied by Israel is Professor Yehuda Haas. This man in particular has been used as a tool to cover up crimes committed by the Israelis for the past five years. Yehuda Haas, who supervises the autopsies, which are usually the basis for making decisions about crimes, such as the causes of death or whether or not organs were stolen, was tried in Israeli courts for grave violations that were carried out with his and other people's knowledge. We asked for an autopsy for dozens, if not hundreds, of people who died during investigations of ambiguous situations. But the Israeli official autopsy always vindicated the Israeli occupation forces. Of course, what the Swedish newspaper has published is worth talking about. I've read it in detail and double-checked his references. But it lacks the strong evidence that one could use to confront the Israeli occupation with. In any case, the occupation is not moral, and it has carried out crimes systematically and in an organized manner against Palestinian civilians. The occupation does not need another testimony to prove its crimes. It is committing crimes and will continue to commit crimes. This occupation does not only lack a moral foundation, but it also lacks any humanitarian value which occupied peoples are entitled to. The evidence is the day-to-day -day realities of living in occupied Palestine. Moreover, I would like to confirm that the occupation continues to carry out crimes and we should not confine ourselves to narrow angles because by doing so we give the occupation forces the opportunity to vindicate themselves. We must prepare evidence in a clear manner. The issue here is not making accusations and it's not political. It is a purely professional issue, and therefore we must be professional in all aspects. There wasn't sufficient evidence in previous cases? This is exactly what I wanted to say. If we had evidence, then we would have been the first people to point out this issue, not Swedish newspapers. We have serious suspicions, we have complaints, and we have tried to bring this to the attention of all judicial systems, but proving these crimes is another story. We have true suspicions, but that doesn't mean that we need evidence to prove that the occupation is criminal, because what they do to our people every day under occupation is enough proof. If we want to prove criminality on this issue, we have to be objective in all aspects. I've worked on this issue for the past 20 years. As I said, we have submitted complaints, but they do not go anywhere. Yehuda, who is supervising the official Israeli autopsies, is in Abu Kuber, was tried and charged of other issues. We have doubts about the Israeli judicial system. The occupation did not treat us in a moral and humanitarian way. To the contrary, it shows its ugly criminal face with the treatment of our people.